Chana dal gosht, a hearty and filling stew crafted from tender mutton and wholesome chana dal. Welcome back to Burmawala Kitchen, where culinary adventures await. Let's commence by immersing three cups of chana dal in boiling water for a restful 15 minutes, allowing it to soften and prepare for its starring role. Now on to marinating our one kilogram of succulent boned mutton. In a harmonious blend of flavors, combine a tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons each of garlic and ginger paste, a tablespoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of garam masala, two tablespoons of Kashmiri chili powder, a teaspoon of red chili powder, and two tablespoons of danya jeera. Give this aromatic symphony a thorough mixing, bearing in mind the fiery nature of this dish. Feel free to adjust the chili levels to suit your palate. Let this marriage of flavors marinate for a minimum of 15 minutes, allowing the spices to permeate the meat. We'll be employing the swift prowess of a pressure cooker for this culinary endeavor, significantly reducing our cooking time. In the cooker, heat a quarter cup of oil and add two chopped medium onions. Allow them to sizzle and caramelize for five minutes over high heat. Now, it's time to introduce the dry aromatics. Four bay leaves, a teaspoon each of peppercorn and cloves, a small stick of cinnamon, two black cardamoms, a teaspoon each of green cardamom and fennel seeds, along with three small chunks of ginger for an extra kick. For those brave souls, add approximately 10 green chilies. Fry this fragrant medley for three minutes, allowing the spices to weave their magic. Add in our marinated meat ensuring every morsel is embraced by the aromatic blend. Sear the meat for five minutes until it boasts a tantalizing color. For an added touch of richness, Incorporate a tablespoon of ghee into the mix. Once the meat and spices have harmonized, introduce 250 grams of chopped tomatoes, whether fresh or from the tin, and give it a gentle stir. Now, incorporate the soaked chana dal, having drained and rid it of excess water. A quick mix to ensure all ingredients are well acquainted. A final flourish with a teaspoon of black pepper powder before introducing three cups of water. Bring it to a boil, seal the pressure cooker and increase the heat until it reaches its pressure. Once fully pressurized, lower the flame and let it simmer for a blissful 45 minutes. Voila! Our tantalizing chana dal gosht is ready, filling the air with its divine aroma. Garnish with a generous sprinkle of fresh coriander. And it's time to serve. This culinary masterpiece pairs exquisitely with naan, tandoori roti, or for an indulgent treat, opt for paratha.
a squeeze of lime adds a zesty dimension to this already spectacular dish. I extend my heartfelt gratitude for joining me on this flavorful journey. I trust you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I eagerly anticipate your culinary adventures in recreating this dish. Happy cooking!